The Boxing Day relegation six-pointer victory has certainly eased some of the pressure on Colchester United heading into the new year, moving them out of Skybet League Two's bottom two. But they kick off the new year with the tough task of slowing down promotion chasers Swindon. The Vista's last outing in 2022 brought a win on the road against promotion hopefuls Northampton. And buoyed by that result, two wins in their last three outings, they'll fancy another three-point haul on the road this New Year's Day. Both clubs and supporters paying tribute to Pelé before kick-off, the great man that football and the world's game lost during this festive period. Plenty of expectation on the visitors to come away with three points. But Colchester United will be desperate to bounce back from a frustrating loss in their last game of 2022 against AFC Wimbledon. Fairly tentative in their approach at the moment, the away side. Trying to carve out a route through the middle. That's a lovely lift over the top, however. It's just a shame the finish couldn't match it. Tyree Shade. Relatively poor effort, although he was being forced wide and the ball bouncing in front of him. It's a lovely lift to pick out his run. Louis Reed just dropping it into his path very neatly indeed. Sign of life from one of these two sides, at least in the early exchanges. Gladwin. Hutton. Hangs it towards the far post. Very teasing ball that's just about kept in play. Can't find a teammate, however. Williams does really well arriving at the back post, but just can't angle it back towards anybody waiting. Shade perhaps the closest one to it. High one into the area and tipped over by O'Hara. First real testing save for the goalkeeper. Fraser Blake Tracy up from the back. And rising above his marker. Just has a better leap on it. And certainly dipping underneath the crossbar. Haven't seen anything really from the home side up until this point. Played just over half an hour. Long ball over the top by O'Hara. Lovely little ball through by Hannon. And Hannon might be there at the back post. Handball perhaps. Big shout. Nothing given. Hutton clears away. We'll have another look at this. It's a really good stretch from the forward to try and get it back in play. And that seems to clearly strike the arm of Hutton. That's going to be another corner. That's out of play. And the host can keep the pressure on here. Chan, anything coming from these set pieces. Hasn't been too many chances created from the free kicks and corners that both sides have had. It's flicked on and that's going to find the back of the net. That'll do nicely indeed. Luke Hannon finally gets his reward. Felt aggrieved just a few minutes ago. But able to just guide this one past the keeper at the far post. Lovely looping header. And Colchester United, after being dormant in the first 20 minutes or so of this game, have come to life around the half-hour mark. And they have the breakthrough here. To be. Two defenders on him, support arriving. Trying to go the solo route in the end rather than looking for Chilvers. It may have been a better option, there's a corner though still to come. Just have to question the striker here, just for a moment. He's got two defenders around him and you see the run of Chilvers arriving. Fancy the effort himself. Good strikers are perhaps selfish strikers. Beautiful whip towards the far post. Keeper came and Brynn didn't get anything on that at all. Questions about the shot stopper here. Well, 
Swindon trailing at the half-time break was certainly pinned back towards the end of the first 45 minutes. They need to find some life here if they're to get anything out of this trip on the road to start 2023. That's in closing down, but cleared away from him. His teammates will hit the reset button at the halfway line. Could be a war of attrition this second half for Colchester United to hold on to three points. Lavinia lays it off. Well hit from the edge of the area. Shade denied. Clip back into the box once again. Another chance makes its way through the cluster of bodies, but Reed didn't hit it as sweetly as his teammate did. Look at the space that he's got on the top of the penalty area. Tyree Shade, clear sight at goal. The home size defence can ill afford that sort of opportunity. Falling to the visitors again. Untidy defensively and not cleared away by Reed, and there's a real spot of bother here. Suddenly, Hannon denied, and again Brim with a fine save to deny the second attempt as well. Another chance for the man that opened the scoring to double his side's advantage here. Swindon all over the place at the back, trying to clear it away from danger. This is the first effort, fairly routine for Brim, had to get down low. The second one, far more testing but he's more than a match to it. Over the top by Gladwin. Something for Hepburn Murphy to chase. Needs some help as well. Does have more green shirts arriving. Again though, just trying to take on the defender when perhaps looking for other options would have been better. That's a lovely ball into the area and O'Hara steers it away. Been called upon him frequently. He calls just the United keeper. That's a superb save to deny Wakeling. Slightly heavy touch inside. Inaccurate as well. Williams trying to play it out from the back. Unable to find a way out. David down at the corner flag. Chilvers. Chamado. A delicious delivery and the head is straight at Brent. The follow up over the top of the crossbar. Well, they're having chances and opportunities to put this game to bed. It's a wonderful ball into the top of the six yard box. The header from point blank range right at the man in bright yellow. Williams weaving his way forward. Now makes his way into the 18-yard box at that near post, waiting for a delivery. Clip towards him, but doesn't find him. The away side will probe down the left. And they'll get a set piece from it. Yandola trying to find another teammate. But there's another chance to come. More defending to be done. Fizz towards the near post. That's a dangerous flick that comes off the top of the crossbar and just about bounces away to safety. One from the training ground you feel with just that flick on at that near post. It caused a lot of problems for O'Hara for a moment and he wasn't sure about it. Collected by Andolo, goes down. Last chance saloon perhaps from this free kick. Steady heads needed defensively. As the set piece comes in, it's towards the goalkeeper. And almost Bryn, and it's still pinging around and not cleared away just yet. Now thumped to safety. And that, I think, is the full-time whistle. Colchester United hold on for a massive three points. They go five points clear of the bottom two in Sky Bet League Two, but they have played two more games than those two sides below them. But it's points in the bag as Swindon slumped to sixth in the table, a frustrating loss on the road for the visitors. And it finishes here. Colchester one, Swindon nil.